Hey hackers, Blue Cosmo from CCS here. Oh my god, how we doing guys? Uh, today we are doing some more Wi-Fi pineapple stuff. Today we're playing around with the uh, MDK4 module. Um, basically it's a module, I think it's created by the Aircrack Suite. Um, and we can just do some cool Wi-Fi hacking stuff with it. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, before we begin, if you guys are new to the Wi-Fi pineapple, make sure to check out our course on the Wi-Fi Pineapple, wi uh, cosmodiumcs.com slash courses. There you can find our Wi-Fi Pineapple course, USB Rubber Ducky, Bash Bunny, a bunch of other courses on Rob Python, computer science for free, super cool. Check it out. Anyways, let's get to the video. Um, <laughs> so today, um, first thing you want to do is actually, let me make this full screen so that way, you know, it's all nice and pretty. Um, let me also move my camera to the bottom so it looks all nice and pretty as it should be. Um, first thing first, uh, we're going to hit that get news button, make sure our Wi-Fi pineapple is connected to the internet, and it is awesome. So, well, I mean, that's good. Um, but now what we need to do is go to the modules and packages page, then you'll see we have a modules button. And if we go ahead and hit that get available modules, uh, we can see all the modules that we have accessible to us. Uh, the one we want to get is the MDK4 module. So I'll go ahead and hit install install and uh, let it install now, that's a pretty quick install but what's not quick is the dependencies right this thing's going to ask you to install some dependencies um and it might take a second now for me i already have those dependencies installed um but you would just hit that installs dependencies button when it pops up and it should take about two minutes tops but um yeah so we can actually check out some of the cool stuff we can do right if we go into attack mode we can see some of the stuff that we have available to us um, I'm not going to go through everything here. Um, I'm sure you guys have the ability to kind of poke around and do you know, some stuff for yourself. Um, but I think the funniest one on here, honestly, is beacon flooding. Um, but you can feel free to check out, you know, authentication, uh, dosing. You can check out um, the authentication and disassociation. Um, you can check out some of the packet fuzzing stuff, um, even some exploitation stuff as well. Um, it's really cool. Um, even SSID probing and brute forcing. Yeah, there's like a whole like Wi-Fi hacking suite basically that you have accessible within the Wi-Fi pineapple. Uh, for the sake of this video, just kind of introduce this to you guys. Uh, we're going to just be doing some beacon flooding. Um, beacon flooding is basically creating a bunch of Wi-Fi uh, like hotspots or beacons, and uh, they can be randomly generated. We can show like we can get a file name of different like. Uh, SSIDs to broadcast and we can just broadcast like a crap ton of SSIDs. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, the interface we're going to choose is the WLAN monitoring. I don't see it. I think if I just like resave the Pine AP settings, we should have access to, uh, it should be somewhere. There you go, WLAN mo one mod. So yeah, just resave your Pine AP and WLAN one mod should pop up. And the attack mode we're going to do is beacon flooding. What's basically going to do is start creating a bunch of hotspots uh, with randomly generated names. Um, I'll actually go on my phone in a second, let it boot up for a second. I'll give it about like a minute to kind of, you know, do its thing and stuff. Um, but if you will check your like Wi-Fi hotspots and such, you'll see a bunch of like fake randomly generated just like random rogue access points or hotspots or beacons uh, just coming out. Um, all right, guys, so I have some screenshots from my phone kind of showing you guys um, what I'm seeing. It's showing a lot of like a lot of the randomly generated uh, um, hotspots, which is cool. So you can actually specify like an SSID you want to use. So if you want to say like I'm watching you or something weird and dumb like that, you can. Um, there's a bunch of other stuff you can do with MDK4. Uh, but definitely suggest looking into some of the cool stuff you can do with MDK4. Uh, but regardless, that's going to be it for this video. Really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, kind of just deep diving through the Wi-Fi pineapple and all this other stuff. Again, if you guys are interested in content like this, definitely subscribe. Check out the videos we have or, you know, and or, you know, and, you know, and do that. And check out our website, CosmodiumCS.com. We have some courses over there, some articles and some other stuff. If you want to learn a little bit more about security, otherwise, that's going to be it for me, guys. So I appreciate you guys taking the time watching this, and uh, I will see you all later. So stay happy, stay positive, and as always, happy hacking. 
Hey hackers, Blue Cosmo from CCS here, and I wanted to introduce you guys to the Happy Hacker Site Plan. The Happy Hacker Site Plan is a plan where you guys can support us for only $1 a month. That's right, $1. With this comes exclusive benefits like courses, articles, videos, and access to our entire cybersecurity knowledge base. Um, if this interests you and you guys want to um, get access to all this, check out the link in the description. It's only $1, so we definitely appreciate your guys' support. Um, anyway, enjoy the video and uh, happy hacking.